you're already you're already on. Hi. Making some tofu in the air fryer. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. It's already noon. We haven't chatted yet. Let me catch you up on what you missed. I did a really nice slow flow yoga this morning. It was exactly what I needed. Took T-Bone to school. He's doing really well. He had a great night. Happy and hungry this morning. And I did some work. Yesterday's video. Talked to my friend Jess, which we do every Wednesday. Just like laundry, dishwasher, kind of tidied the house. And we're here with the air fryer. I've made a bit of leftovers from last night mixed with spinach and then I'm gonna top it with tofu. Just a nice chill morning. Oh, the second you sit down. The second you sit down. Um, it's snowing like wild this morning. Making me feel very festive. And we're gonna do another giveaway today. So stay tuned for that. There's so many good giveaways this year. Trying to decide which one to include today. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, watch a little YouTube, catch up on some other people's Vlogmas, and we'll be back. Oh, last night, after I said goodnight to you, before I did, regardless, um, last night I was wrapping presents and it made me remember to tell you I've had requests to show like what I buy people for Christmas and then show myself wrapping them but there's a few people who I buy for who watch these videos and so I don't really want to show what I buy also 95% of the gifts that I buy get shipped far away we've talked about this if my family and I could all just pick a city and live there, that would be great. <laughs> but I buy them early and ship them early. So, um, you know, the stuff that I have, I bought a long time ago and has already made it to like America and my sister and that sort of thing. So unfortunately, that isn't an option. And then what I wrapped last night, I definitely don't want to show you because I think they watch my videos. And I want it to be a surprise. I could tell you what some of it was, but that would give it away too, and I, it's too good to ruin. So I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that that's something you'd like to see and I can't deliver. But keep those requests coming. All right. We added some tofu. Now me and my snowmen are gonna go eat some lunch. Um, let's go through the advent calendar, shall we? Where are we? Today is day eight. Did I do day seven? No, I did not. No, I did not. It says, Chandler, you being here is the greatest Christmas present I could ever have imagined. Now give me my real gift. Who said that? Who said that? It was Phoebe. I am loving this advent calendar. Ooh. Oh my gosh. The Friends Guide to New York City. Central Park, where you can find the fountain, where you can find their apartment, which I've been to for sure. Madison Square Garden, Bloomingdale's. That's so cute. Okay. I love this. Such a joyful advent calendar. I'm really impressed with Thomas's. So if you need a, an advent calendar next year. Ooh. I got it from Costco, but um, I got it from Costco, but I've also seen it at Walmart. This is the one with the 12 month pocket calendar. How cute. The chicken, the duck. Oh, and it's got like a picture every month. This is adorable. I love this. This is this calendar is bringing me so much joy. I'm gonna put this up in my office. I think it's so cute. Did you do this when you were little? Like go to your birthday month and then see what the picture was. Totally used to do that. That's how I used to gauge whether or not I wanted a calendar. Our 
o'clock and it is just after five. Um, I'm having a couple friends over this evening to celebrate one of our friend's birthdays. So I have sushi on order to be delivered. Got some champagne chilling. And then another one of my friends who's also coming tonight came over this afternoon and we did some work together and she dropped off a cake from Gratify, which is a local um, vegan bakery. I thought it's raw. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you call it. Deliciousness location. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was nice. We had a nice visit with my mom and then we went for a nice walk. It was very icy though. That was disappointing. But we managed to salvage any like <laughs> Bambi situations. And now I'm trying to just stave Thomas off for an hour because he's so scheduled. <laughs> that he's wondering why he's not getting his full dinner and that's because sushi's coming at six for him as well. I mean, I wasn't gonna order us sushi and not order him some. So it's been a really chill, chill day. Um, I mean, chill for you. I could have shown you like emptying the dishwasher and stuff, but I just did it. Maybe I'll show you me putting away laundry tonight. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty. Pretty nice zen day, honestly. I'm sure you can tell by my tone, I'm just trying to like relax after school's done and rest while I can. And we have some fun things planned for Christmas break while Thomas is off, but also just relaxing. My mom brought over a book from the late 1800s that is the story of well, first of all, it shows her side of the family's family tree, which I've never seen before. I like got emotional looking at it. It ends at her mom, because her mom was born in 1906, and the family tree was made in 1908. It's just incredible to see like the different spellings of her last name, and then also um, a very wild story of our family's history and the royal family in England, which I had no idea of. Um, just really cool. Just like made me so happy. Hello. Is that going in the dishwasher? Or should we have some more? Some more? What? Yeah. Um, the unicorn and I just watched The Crown. So it, it's got, like, got me in that mindset of it. I think he's gonna love it. I wanna read it, but I'm worried that I, <laughs> the book is like so fragile. Do you know lots about your family history? I feel like I don't, and I would love to. Like way, way, way back. Like what your family did, what their careers were, what their names were. Even looking on the family tree, there was like a lot of Elizabeths, which is my niece. And there was a few Benjamins, which is my nephew. Very cool. Uh, there was a Mary, which I'll take. <laughs> uh, yeah, fun fact, my mom's name was Nora. And if Thomas had been a girl, I was greatly considering the name Nora um, to name her. If you don't know this, Thomas is named after my dad, because my dad's name was Thomas Gerard. He went by Gerard but his first name was Thomas. And then Thomas's middle name is Jeremy's mom's maiden name, if that makes sense. So he's got a very like familial name and Jeremy chose it. I wanted to name Thomas. <laughs> it seems so funny now. I wanted to name him Vetter, like Eddie Vetter, because Pearl Jam was Jared's favorite band. So he, his name would have been Vetter. I much prefer Thomas. <laughs> I was very surprised at the time that Jared didn't go for it, but he was like, absolutely not. So I'm grateful for that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make Thomas's lunch and um, get that done so that when the girls get here, we can just hang out. Got champagne on ice. I'm debating whether or not I should use the friends plates that I have. That's the ice machine in case you're wondering what that obnoxious sound is. 
I think I kind of have to. I have like friends paper plates that I've been saving for something. I might see if I can find them. Like I'm trying to go in the fridge, going in the pantry. It's like, excuse me, that dinner was small. <laughs> I found the plates. How great are these? And then these are the napkins. <laughs> I promise I like other shows, okay? It's just this friend also loves the television show Friends. And I thought, what better time to bust these out? Look, we got like Rosita, the iconic couch, smelly cat, the turkey. Like this is so good. And then these plates too. I had cups as well. Um, but we're not having champagne in plastic cups. Like I draw the line. <laughs> I just found these at Winners, like my goodness, two years ago, probably. I've been holding on to them. Tonight's the night we bust them out. I hear Thomas, he's just winding down for the night. As am I, I've got my sleepy time tea with a few ice cubes in there so that I can drink it. <laughs> we had a lovely evening and yeah, it was just so nice to like chill, have some good food, some good friendship and toast our girlfriend who was celebrating a milestone today. Yeah, it just felt really good. Mm. But I do have a giveaway that I wanted to make sure that I got to before I take off my makeup and put on the old PJs. So <sighs> you've been noticing I've been like resting a lot and trying to just rejuvenate. 2021, probably 2020 as well, but I really have stopped subscribing to like the hustle mentality and like, you have to be busy all the time. If you're not busy, you're lazy, like absolutely not. I don't believe in any of that. I believe in resting, taking care of yourself. I am more productive the more I rest, which has been a really interesting uh, and enlightening thing that I've learned in the last year or two, especially with school and work and doing all the things that I do. I'm actually doing less, but being more productive. So today's giveaway is all about rest I guess for some reason I often pair rest with scents and so today I am giving away some products from sage which I believe is a Vancouver company I have uh, a diffuser which I'm not gonna take out of the box I'll just insert a photo but here's the box like it's all nicely sealed and it's a limited edition aroma genie ultrasonic diffuser so an essential oil diffuser, and then this four pack of essential oils from Sage. This is their Happy Home uh, Diffuser Blend Collection. It includes After the Rain, Into the Trees, Liquid Sunshine, and Refresh. Liquid Sunshine, I think it's probably the first scent I ever got from Sage, and Refresh is the one that I purchase the most, like repurchase. So these are the sealed. This is sealed too. I don't want to open it. It's four different diffuser blends. So you'd pop a few drops into some water in the diffuser and scent your room. I have a diffuser on my bedside table in Thomas's room, uh, on the main floor and in the basement. There's just something about smell to me that is like so calming and so many people when they walk into my house they're like whoa it smells so good in here I often will have a candle or a diffuser going depending on the time of year I use diffusers more in the summer um, or cold and flu season like we have had thieves oil diffusing in this house a lot just in, in, if anyone's feeling anything so that is today's giveaway this four pack of essential oils, the Happy Home Collection. Again, it's After the Rain, Into the Trees, Liquid Sunshine, and Refresh. And then this limited edition Aroma Genie Ultrasonic Diffuser from Sage. So I wanna know in the comments below, how do you relax? Like how do you rejuvenate? How do you take care of yourself? 
and also if you want to comment on how you too have tried to distance yourself from that really toxic hustle culture like I have started saying in the last five years like busy is not a badge of honor when someone asks you how you are really notice if your answer is busy like how are you oh I'm busy but like are you good does that mean bad does that mean stressed out does that mean fulfilled happy loved loving let me know comment down below okay me and my tired self are gonna drink this tea and go to bed early and of course not gonna be home till like well past my bedtime so I'm gonna go to bed early <laughs> it is 8 53 I'm gonna take off my watch take off my makeup put on my PJs you can probably hear the dishwasher running in the background <laughs> Like you have good you have good friends when they're like, let me tidy, let me help you fill your dishwasher. Where's the little tabby? Like, and they all left by 8:40 because we're all the same. We like to go to bed early. It's so funny. Okay, so that is the giveaway for today, Vlogmas Day Eight. It is the eighth, right? Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for hanging out. I so appreciate you taking your time and spending time with me day in day out on this 10th annual Vlogmas. And I'll see you in the morning. Bye.